Himalaya. I did not plan to come here during this road trip, but you know how India works. You cannot really be too rigid with your plans. You gotta follow the flow of India. And so here I am in the Himalayas. I took my motorbike and spent a couple of days in incredible mountains of the state of Uttarakhand. And to be honest, this turned out to be the most beautiful, epic road trip of my life. The nature was simply breathtaking and everything was impregnated with spiritual energy. And yeah, this has been such an incredible, beautiful trip, and I want to share it with you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Good morning, guys. Today I'm leaving Rishikesh, and I'm heading north into the Himalaya mountains and the first stop is gonna be Uttarakashi. It should be like 150, 160 kilometers from here, but it's it's all like a mountain road, so it's gonna take probably like uh, five or six hours. I'm gonna eat some uh, boiled egg with Shiva before I leave for my road trip. Thank you, bro. I'm gonna quickly stop to put some air into my tires and look at this monkey man it's sitting on top of a car on top of a boat eating snacks and I'm also gonna fill up the tank because it's gonna be a long journey Man, this is so incredibly beautiful and so incredibly fun. I miss driving in the Manto with the motorbike so, so much. I'm super excited and happy and I'm listening to music and driving through these incredible mountains near Rishikesh. Just unbelievable. I'm having the time of my life. I just want to stop to drink a quick coffee and to fly the drone because I want to show you how beautiful this is. And this is just the beginning. I left Rishikesh just 30 minutes ago and it's already so beautiful. So I cannot imagine the more I get closer to the Himalayas, how amazing it would be. I still have four hours to go and I'm so excited. Another stop with another incredible view. Look what I just found. It's called Terry Dam and it's massive and I'm so high and it's so beautiful to see from the top down. I definitely want to fly the drone. So this road is the number 34 and it goes from Rishikesh all the way up to Gangotri, which is eventually my final destination. Maybe I will reach Gangotri tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. And what I really love about this road is that it's extremely quiet and so you can have a lot of fun with the curves and twists. Of course, you have some bus, some trucks, some landslides from time to time, but in general, it's very quiet and it's a lot of fun. Alright guys, I basically made it to Uttarkashi. I just have 10 kilometers left to go. I stopped here because I saw this river and it's so beautiful. The color of the water, the mountains around, it's such an incredible like surrounding. This is the place that Shiva recommend me to go, Hotel Inder Palace. This is his friend and uh, so I decided to come here. It's a little bit outside of the city but uh, it's right next to the river. Nice river view. Looks like nobody's here. Hi Shiva. Hey man, I just arrived here. Yeah. But nobody... Yeah, outside, inside, but nobody here. Uh, just you here. Okay, I thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Very nice. Look what they just brought me, potatoes and chapati. I'm gonna eat now, sleep because I'm extremely tired and I'll see you tomorrow and we continue the road trip. So I decided to leave Uttarkashi this morning and head towards Gango Tree, which is in the Himalayas. And I'm excited because I might see some snow in the Himalayas mountains. That's pretty cool. So I have to pay 1000 rupee for this room. The owner of this hotel is a friend of Shiva from Rishikesh. So I guess he gave me a special price. Check out and continue the road trip. Pay. Yeah, pay. This symbol in Europe is very, very bad, but in India it's extremely positive. 1000 and food. No, 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 no. So I pay 1000 rupees for the room, which is already the discount price. And then yesterday he brought me chapati, potato, fresh fruit, coffee yesterday, coffee today in the morning. And he didn't want anything for the food. I said, what? You crazy? So I give him 500 rupees. But man, the hospitality here is so nice. This guy is really amazing. So from here to Gango Tree is gonna be approximately 100 kilometers. Yesterday was more about enjoying the motorbike, the curves, the twists. Today I think I want to enjoy more the scenery. And Shiva told me there are some nice stops on the way, so I will take a bit more sabai sabai. But yeah, man, I'm excited to go to the Himalayas mountains because Gango Tree it's already in the Himalayas. That's so cool, man. With the Royal Enfield Himalayan in the Himalayas, I like that. Alright guys, I stopped for a quick coffee. Thank you very much. And I just saw this which is also amazing. Let me show you. Unbelievable man. And the energy that has this place is... <laughs> Most people enjoy riding the motorbike with groups, with other people, and I totally get that. But for me, I always enjoy riding my motorbike solo, just by myself. It's almost like a spiritual experience for me, just me, my motorbike completely immersed with nature. It has something magical and I really, really love the experience. Guys, look at this. This is unbelievable. I don't have words to describe this experience. I think it's in our human nature to find something like a hobby, a passion that allow us to connect us to a deeper part of life, that allow us to connect us to the spiritual side, that allow us to connect us to nature, to our creator, to something bigger than ourselves. For me, it's actually riding the motorbike. This is one of the most pleasant experience in my life. For some people is meditating, doing yoga, running, hiking, making art, playing music. We all have something that allow us to unplug from the day-to-day -day life, from the busyness, from the problems, from the programming of our society and allow us to tap into a deeper experience, a spiritual experience, a mystical experience. And this is my current experience and it's just amazing. Actually, I'm riding my motorbike and I'm crying tears of joy because this is just spectacular man i really don't have words to describe i'm listening to some amazing music driving through the himalayas with a motorbike with this beautiful weather 
contemplating life, contemplating this incredible journey that I'm doing in India. It's, everything is just so great, man. I just cannot hold myself and cry tears of joy. It's, it's magic. I think those tears are also coming because I know that my India trip is coming to an end and this last part in the Himalayas was not planned and it was just a gift and a beautiful surprise for me. And this month in India has been just incredible. Mama India has given me so much to me, has been so, so generous and I really feel a deep sense of gratitude. And ending this trip with this scenery, with these mountains, with this weather, it's such a blessing. I can easily say that this is the best ride of my life ever. This road number 34, it's unbelievable. <laughs> the more we start to go up, the more chill it gets. So I started to feel a little bit cold, but still manageable because the sun is shining. But I can imagine in the morning and in the evening must be like freezing. Having the drone in the Himalayas is the best thing ever. It's unbelievable. But I also believe that we can find our spiritual place within ourselves, everywhere we are. We don't need to come to India, we don't need to go on top of a mountain. Wherever we are, we can just see life with new eyes, open up our heart and just experience something a bit deeper than just our superficial world. We are living through some crazy times right now with war, with uncertainty, with financial crisis, but the beauty of life is always here with us. A deeper meaning to our existence is always available to us. We just have to tap into it somehow and each of us has a different way to tap into this beautiful spiritual energy all right guys this is gonna be my lunch spot look at this I'm gonna have a private table. <laughs> this will be lots of wind, that's why. Ah, that's why you ah. keep it like this for me. Yeah. What a beautiful restaurant that you have here. The view is amazing. Where are you from? Italy. Italy? Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> and this place is surreal. I cannot imagine. It looks like I'm in a movie. It doesn't look like real. There's a blue river down there, incredible mountains. Look at those peaks with the snow there and there. And he said this is called Apple Valley because all of those are apple trees all around here. So I ordered veg momos and uh, veg noodles. Man, I'm becoming a vegetarian again by staying in India. Probably you don't know, but I was a vegetarian for two years, from 2018 until 2020 and then when covid hit in 2020 i was in thailand and i started to eat burger again <laughs> oh nice bro thank you those momos they look amazing and so big mm, really nice all right, the noodle came also. That's massive. I'm already full after the momos. Look at this little window from the restaurant. What? <laughs> I'm here with Gurip. He's the owner of this beautiful little uh, restaurant. And you were telling me that you just opened this year, no? Yeah, this year. And you build everything just by yourself, like all of this. Man, that's amazing. Good job. This is March, March 2022. Yeah, March 2022. Yeah. Very nice. 
So if you want to check him out, the Himalayan treat, it's on the way to... <laughs> uh, oh yeah, man, this number 34 is really nice. The road is so much fun to drive with a motorbike. Yeah, really nice. And you say that this time is extremely quiet. Actually, you see there is no car now. It's very quiet, which is very enjoyable. But usually it's not like this because this is like half season now. You see lots of traffic and lots of buses. So here is like pack, packed with cars and so much traffic. After the May, uh, May uh, in the May, uh -huh. in the May season will start uh, between the October, between the Diwali. Ah, okay. Finish in Diwali. Finish in Diwali. Start in May and then finish in Diwali. All right. And then soon the snow will come, big yeah, snow. Soon, soon the snow will come. All right, bro. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. There is a viewpoint here. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's unbelievable. Since I left the restaurant, the temperature changed completely. And now it's like freezing cold. It's crazy because all of a sudden it's just 3 p.m. and still it's, the sun is still out, but it's very, very cold. But I almost arrived in Gango Tree. I think I still have uh, 20 kilometers left. This is a viewpoint and it's amazing. Let me show you. You ready? Dun, 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 What? Wow. All right, let's go before it gets too dark. Guys, look at this road. It's unbelievable. You know, this is a very dangerous road, but look at this. If you lose control here, you literally just fall down in the river. This is so beautiful, yet so dangerous. Oh, shit. Everything is closed. It's like a ghost town. Alright guys, I made it to Gango Tree. So cold and you know the road actually ends here. That's why I want to come here because the road number 34, it just stop here and from here on it's just Himalayan mountains without roads. And all around me I can just see beautiful mountains with snow on top. The, the problem is that now it's off season, so everything is basically shut down. Gango Tree looks like a ghost town. Even all the hotels, restaurants, everything is shut down. And uh, this gentleman, <laughs> he just approached me and he told me, you want a room? I said, yes, I need a room. So now he told me to follow him and uh, I hope I can get a room for tonight with hot water because it's really cold. Okay. Hello, this guest house? All right. I'm curious to see how much he will charge me. Oh. Oh, nice. Big bed, huh? And have hot water. Hot water, yeah. Oh, very nice. And this on the, oh, we have a river view. So I got a room for tonight, 1,500 rupees. I made it. I hope I'm not gonna freeze because honestly, I don't have any warm clothes. This is the warmest jacket, which is nothing. So wish me luck. I'll see you tomorrow. sleeping like this with my jacket the entire night because it's so cold now it's minus two degrees let me show you 
but because it's already 7 a.m. during the night was minus 7 degrees. Before it was minus 7 and, and it's crazy because in few days it's gonna snow here. That's why there are no people here because everybody is expecting the snow from one day to another so everything is already shut down because the the high season is over and now for a few months everything is gonna be shut down and everything is gonna be covered with snow for a few months so it's gonna be very intense so I got so lucky and just on time to enjoy this uh, sunny weather but during the evening and night it's uh, so cold and you know the crazy thing there is a mouse under my bed actually yesterday he was here on the couch and he, and he went on top of my jeans it's a small one but you know it's still a mouse and then i called the owner and i told him and he was like oh yeah 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 don't worry he's not gonna attack you he's not gonna do anything to you you can sleep if you have some problem then you can call me i was like what <laughs> so yeah i wasn't really able to relax and sleep properly i even slept with the lights on because i was scared that maybe he would just come on the bed or something i would love to drink like a warm coffee but everything is shut down there are literally no people around let me show you Nothing, man. Absolutely no people around. I'm desperately looking for a hot coffee. But everything is shut down here. Good morning, sir. Everything closed, huh? Closed, closed. Ah. Oh, boy. 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 Oh, 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 Uh, we're gonna warm up with some fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Close. Ah. Open again when? Open again in May. May. Five months. Six months. Six months. Six months. Ah. You come here May and June. So you have no possible to see the temple here five or six hours. Yeah. Ah. To just go inside ah. the temple. Too much rust. Yeah. yeah. And a road jam. Yeah, jam. Ah. So many jam here. The road is congested. Na? Yeah. So that's why. Yeah, but now yesterday, oh, amazing. So beautiful. A beautiful. With the motorbike is like a dream, you know. We are coming for one reason. These sense person, they are doing sadhana here, this six months. Oh. Here. Okay. So we are coming to giving a food and blankets. Oh. To yeah, yeah. Provide. Yeah. Sadhana is what is sadhana? Yeah. Sadhana, they pray to God. Oh, for six months. Ah, uh, yeah. So I drink one hot coffee, one hot chai, and then I, I ask him to make it like a massive <laughs> hot chai <laughs> because it's so cold and I need something warm. I'm going back to my room for a while, but man, that fire was ah, so good. And basically there is nothing to do and nothing to see here because the main uh, attraction is the temple, but it's closed now because it's off season. It will be open in six months. And the trekkings here are massive, like 16 kilometers, 20 kilometers. So I'm not gonna do that. So today I think I'm just gonna drink this, rest a little bit, and then head back to Rishikesh. The sun come out. My bike is still going good. The altitude here is 3,415 meters. 
super high in the Himalayas mountains. Look how beautiful. And can you see all those mountains there? They are all full of snow. And the forecast says three more days and then it's gonna start snow also here a lot so i got very very lucky with the weather because it's still sun but just for a few more days then for the next six months gango tree all this area is gonna be completely immersed with snow completely white to stop here because the view from this bridge is breathtaking it's unreal let me show you guys I made it back to my friend's restaurant the Himalayan treat to drink a coffee together with him he's such a nice guy and I also want to eat his momos again because yesterday they were delicious but it's too early because his chef is just making right now that's why they are so delicious because they are handmade and unfortunately now it's too early for the momos so I'll just get a coffee a, a cheese sandwich and then I continue my way back to Rishikesh all right bro thank you for everything nice to meet, nice you, to meet you man and uh, it will come after yeah i think this time is the best this time is the best maybe best next time next year this time i want to come with a motorbike again yeah. and i don't want people like this is like a dream you know it's like empty and we are ready for seven for you and all people <laughs> to the, the Himalayan Cafe. Nice man. I'll put your link in the down below in the, in the comments. So if you guys are coming to the Himalayas, stop by the Himalayan treat on the road number 34. NS34. NS34. National State. Can go through highway. But yeah, I'm gonna end this journey right here and this video right here. To be honest, I had the time of my life with this motorbike trip in the Himalayas. It was just mind-blowing. Probably the best road trip I had so far. It was just uh, breathtaking. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been to the Himalayas. I know they are massive. They are India, Nepal, China. It's like really, really big. But for me, just having a small taste of this area was enough to make me fall in love with this area. So beautiful, so beautiful. Alright guys, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.